We got uh, three dogs. Uh, this guy right here and a turtle. Oh, he's trying to lick you. Whoa. It's year three for the New Mexico Ice Wolves. With it comes new expectations and a desire to get to the one place the franchise has never been, the postseason. Uh, polo pajamas, I think I made it. I showed my mom my first million, she damn near fainted. The rich and famous so nice to make your acquaintance. The legends put out their latest, I feel that it sound outdated. Under the watchful eye of scouts from every level, all 29 teams in the league start the season together transforming the super rink in Blaine, Minnesota, into hockey heaven. Can I get an amen? A 3-1 and one record at the showcase has the Ice Wolves believing this year could be different, as the team has the right mix of experienced returners and exciting newcomers. I think we grew as a team from last year. We have a lot of returning guys that I've been here for three years or two years and we just really bought in this year and came together as a group and really had success in Blaine and it was good to see that everything we've been doing worked. I think we could be a really good team as long as we get to work. I liked what I saw from the forwards this weekend. A lot of young guys that are learning pretty quick. I think we have a really great shot this year. A lot of the new guys are really skilled, really skilled group of guys here. I think this team is going to be very good and capable of maybe bringing it home this year. It's exciting for our, our guys for sure. I think our organization definitely starting three and one, but again, it's just a start, right? Like, you, I mean, you can go three and 57, right? <laughs> so it's just a start. And it, I think for us, it's something to build off and, you know, for our guys to understand, like we have a really good opportunity to do something special here this year. The Ice Wolves arrive back in Albuquerque to the friendly confines of Outpost Arena and a new state-of-the-art locker room. A locker room filled with reminders of a former Ice Wolves player the team will honor this season. I think it's a good reminder every time you put on the jersey, you see it, just what you're playing for, who you're playing for. It's a reason to go out there and, I don't know, give everything, because that's what he was doing every night. Back in New Mexico means the boys are back with their host families, back in the desert, and for some, back to the zoo. Uh, yeah, uh, three dogs, a turtle, this guy, and uh, two hockey, or oh, three hockey players. And so it's, we call it the zoo, I guess, a little bit. At this point, I'm the only uh, female, so <laughs> besides our female dog. Um, so that's, that's uh, different for me as well. For unlikely roommates from Minnesota and Norway, this host family is also an important reminder that the bonds of brotherhood aren't always built in blood. The relationship I have with Isaac is, first time I actually got to meet him a little bit was driving down here with my mom. Uh, Duncan, our billet dad, gave him my phone number, which might have been one of the biggest mistakes starting off <laughs> driving down and having three straight hours of TikToks, Instagram memes, and stupid stuff like that of just ripping on every every single Minnesota sports team I root for, which I already know it's hard being a Minnesota sports fan, but just kind of makes it a little harder. I think it's big for him to have two hockey players here as, a, as his role model and, and like have a, two extra pair of, like a pair of brothers right yeah, next to him. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we love having our two 
uh, older hockey players here because Isaac definitely needs some uh, guidance uh, in order to take his sled hockey to the next level. Sometimes he does lose his temper. He uh, doesn't listen to the ref and uh, he can get penalties. And so it's certainly good to have uh, these older guys tell him you got to calm down. You got to follow the rules. You got to do it right. Isaac is a brother. He's also a believer. This team is going to definitely make the playoffs this year. Will you look right at the camera and say, I guarantee playoffs? I guarantee playoffs. After a season spent locked down, masked up, and on the road, the Ice Wolves couldn't be happier to be back home in ABQ, back as a pack. One big Ice Wolves family, back together again. High expectations has coach Phil Fox determined to build the right energy and a firm foundation early in the season, enlisting Kevin Hartzell for leadership training. Inspired by techniques learned from the Navy SEALs, the Ice Wolves embark on a series of team building exercises, a boot camp designed to get them battle tested, to teach them to listen and reflect, and to push themselves to improve. Further proof that the path to the promised land is paved in push-ups, and the only way to get there is one foot in front of the other. And an important reminder that if this story is going to end the way the Ice Wolves want it, things need to be done the right way, by the right group. And it needs to start right now. So, what are we waiting for? Here's a shot to cup deflection in front for Liam Garrett. Score! Alex Gomez on the rebound. Pass for Dulac. Cutting to the front of the net. Shot. Score! Jeff Hutchinson! Special thanks to presenting sponsor Duke City Urgent Care and Medic Buddy for all they do to keep the Ice Wolves healthy on the ice. And thanks to the entire family of Ice Wolves marketing partners doing their part to grow hockey and ice sports right here in Albuquerque.